have a friend who says that she can't predict the future. Now, I'm intrigued by that because if I would be able to predict the future, I could serve my clients a lot better. So I asked her, how do you do that? And she said, it's not that hard. You look at the past, you observe the present, and then you already know what's going to happen in the future. It's not that hard. So I want to do that with you as your retirement planner. We always start with Medicare because Medicare is such a, a big decision and it has so much consequences for your planning in retirement. So let's look at what Medicare really is. It started in 1965 when Lyndon B. Johnson signed into law a plan, a bill that would lead to the Medicare and Medicaid program. This is a federal health insurance program for people 65 years and older, regardless their income, regardless their health status or their medical history. And as much as has changed in the whole Medicare field, this is still standing today. Now, to really understand how it is going to move into the future, I want you to understand also how it looked like in 1965. A guy would typically work his whole life for one company. He would retire at 65 with a pension, most likely of that company, and he would have Medicare, which was practically free. He would die at 68. Seven. So that's only two years that Medicare had to pay his medical bills. And for his wife, another two years. But all in all, it was not that much. When we observe today's date, which is 2022, the picture is already totally different. A guy would work typically for many different companies. He would have his own individual retirement account, his IRA. Maybe he has a pension. Maybe his 401k was matched up with some of the money of the companies. But he would have that as his retirement plan. His Medicare would kick in at 65. But now he's not retiring at 65. Most likely he retires at 70. And then he would die at 78, which is a completely different picture. The government has to pay 11 years of medical bills, meaning shoulder replacements, hip replacements, brain surgery, cancer treatments, you name it. The average retiree has $375,000 in medical bills. So let's look into the future. But you know what I want you to do? To come to my seminar and we'll talk about it together, how it might look for you personally, or set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. And let's look how that might look for you going into retirement. Please connect and I can't wait to talk to you in person.